Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to New Frontier. It is the morning of day 11. I've got some skill points to spend this morning, three of them. Let's just go ahead and max out agility, get that over with. So now we can max out deep cuts and gunslinger once we get some more skill points. Now we're here at the base this morning to get some work done, but before we get started, I want to show you guys something. I stopped over at Rex on the way here and picked up this job, which we'll do when we're done working here. I also sold him some stuff and made some money. And he had some Forged Ahead books, which I almost bought, but luckily I was smart enough to check first to see just how close we are to unlocking the chem station. And it turns out the chem station's already unlocked. I don't ever remember seeing the uh, confirmation that we unlocked it. But then again, I don't ever remember seeing the confirmation that we unlocked the cement mixer when we unlocked that thing. So, I don't know. Maybe there are just certain things that we're not getting notifications on here. So, we just need to make sure we check on shit, especially the stuff we're waiting to unlock. Anyway, that's good that that's done. So, we don't got to worry about Forged Ahead books anymore because we already have a crucible. Now, uh, I'm building this hallway out this way a little bit because why not utilize some of this space? You know, doesn't make a difference if the hallway's outside the base or inside the base. I'm going to build it up on the inside a little bit as well. But building it up on the outside just makes for a longer hallway without having to use too much of the inside of the base. In terms of the floor, I'm just going to fill in the areas with blocks that need it as I go. The correct thing to do would be to dig up the whole floor and put in a foundation. But that's a lot of work and a lot of materials. I don't feel like doing it that way. So I'm just going to do it as I need to do it. Fill these in here. Let's build this hallway out a little bit more. We also got to dig out the floor in the hallway. Because that is definitely where you want a foundation. Because that's where all the fighting is going to take place. You know, a cop blows up in the hallway and destroys the floor. That's not good. Alright, that's a good start, and this is where the fighting will start, in this hallway here. I want to make sure all the blocks at eye level are upgraded. Uh, I forgot these blocks here. Uh, all the blocks at eye level should be concrete. I think I forgot some around here. Yep, I didn't have enough the other day. So let's just finish these off. Obviously, I want the, the blocks uh, by my feet to be concrete as well. I just don't have enough concrete mix to do that yet. But eventually, we'll get those to concrete. Uh, but as long as the blocks at eye level are concrete, that should definitely be enough motivation for the zombies to go for the hallway. Because I'm just going to have hatches down the hallway. Now, we need a way up onto the roof. So we'll just knock out this block right here. Doesn't matter. Could be anywhere. And we'll put a ladder in. There we go. Now, in terms of the rooftop, I think I'm just going to knock out most of the blocks and replace them with bars and stuff. But that's not my focus right now. My focus right now is to make a second hallway up here. First thing we're going to need is a couple of wooden doors. Let's get those crafted. And we're going to put one in. Like this, we got to go to advanced uh, rotation. And we need to put it in so the top of the doorway is facing us. Just like that. And it'll stick to the wall. Now we got to jump over here and do the same thing. Right now, the top of the doorway is facing away from us. So if I put it down like this, it would just fall. So what I need to do is rotate it until the top of the doorway is facing us just like that. Bam. Okay. Now we got two doors put in, and we can open both of them. They open opposite ways, doesn't matter. Uh, now, the frame of the doorway can be walked on like that, but I don't think the zombies will see that as a path. I sure hope not. This is going to be the hallway right here, so we got to knock out all these blocks. These blocks might be part of the ceiling inside, and they are. So, they got to go. So we can build out, well, essentially our catwalk right here. And since our catwalk is going to be floating, we might have to add support down below, which is not a big deal. 
All right, let's actually go have a look down below, because I think this ladder is out. Yep. We got to bring this ladder down to the floor, because this is going to be the zombie's way up. With the doors open, they won't see this as a way to get to me. That's the idea. Until I close the doors, then they will. What? Forged iron? Uh, I don't want to do that. Let's knock this out. Well, we're going to have to knock the rest of that ladder out and use our own ladder that we can upgrade to cobblestone. All right. Let's clean up this shithole. Now you got a loot bag out here. Must have been a zombie that got killed on these spikes here. Which they gotta go. Want to make sure the zombies have a clear pathway inside this place, which now they do. Right to that ladder. Get this out of here. Uh, these beams are going to be in our way, so we need to knock out this set right here. And we can continue our catwalk. Well, it doesn't need support. Might not be a bad idea to add some in, though. Now we got to knock these wedge blocks out here so we can build up the hallway. Underneath are also wedge blocks, but those don't matter. We need to we don't need to replace those because the zombies can't fit through that opening anyway, so who cares? Alright, so it's coming along, but essentially this is going to be our second murder hallway. We're gonna put hatches in or whatever and do a bunch of fighting here, and then when this is going to fail or the zombies are almost getting to us, we open the doors and they don't have a way to us anymore. So then essentially the base we're standing on becomes a watchtower base. So how it's gonna work is with those doors open like that, the fighting will start here in this hallway. Oh, had it, partner. So fighting starts in this hallway right here. And when this hallway fails, we run to this ladder, climb up, and then we come over here and we close these doors. Giving the zombies a way to get to me. Now, if zombies are already inside the base, what might happen is they might start beating on the walls right here. What we can do to mitigate that is we could do something a little dangerous and jump down here to lure the zombies out of that base and have them follow us this way, up this ladder, down this hallway, these doors will already have been closed. We will do that before we jump down. And then uh, we just do some fighting here in the hallway until it's ready to fail. Then we pop the doors back open. And then this base turns into a watchtower base. And since that's what it will eventually become, I think we do need to get rid of the roof here. Because how are we going to shoot down on the zombies if the roof is uh, solid blocks? So let's leave two blocks along the edge and knock out the rest. There it goes. Okay, that was not so bad. Got quite the mess to clean up down below, though. And then we'll just fill in this area with scaffolding bars. We'll leave some areas open because uh, you really can't use Molotovs through scaffolding bars. I'll just wind up setting myself on fire. So I'll leave some openings for Molotovs. We can throw grenades and pipe bombs through scaffolding bars, though, without any problems. And we'll probably have to put some support throughout to hold up all the bars. And we'll get it figured out. We're also going to need to do something up above to protect us from birds and bats. Well, it's certainly not horde ready, but it's getting there. We got a few more days to continue working on it. Matter of fact, I'll probably spend the night here tonight so I can continue working on it throughout the night. Here we are, Duke Patrol. I've been wanting to check this place out. This must be like a police station, essentially. Pretty sure I already looted this. Yes, I did, but if we fire the job up, we can loot it again. 
Knife Guy book. Anything over here worth checking out? We got a bag right here. I'll take the leggings. Or <laughs> leg armor. Padded leg armor. Imagine leggings. We're in the game. Me walking around in leggings. <laughs> Speaking of leggings, though, I just want to say to whatever woman it was that first started that trend and convinced other women that leggings were pants, thank you. From all the men in the universe, we appreciate your work. Oh, arrow in the ass will make you get up quick. He dead. Nice. Nice. We got more behind this door here. Oop. Okay. Now they're behind this door. Beautiful. And a loot bag. And a crawler, too. We're just fucking up the Duke Patrol, man. Duke Patrol. More like puke patrol. Because you guys... Because you're not good at... Because you can't stomach the... Whatever. Book we already read. We got a crate here. Let's see if we got enough life left in this axe to open it up. Yep. Couple of handy dandy books, kerosene, and a wheel. Uh, I think we already have a bandana. Yep, we'll scrap that one. Machete parts, gunpowder. Hopefully we can find a repair kit in here so we can repair this axe. Otherwise, we're going to be popping crates open with our knife. Whoops, slipped right in. Maybe we should give him a job at the slip it in. Seems to be good at it. Look at this guy. Well, is everybody at the Duke Patrol just a drunk? Everyone's just passed out. No one's doing their job. No wonder why there's so much crime in this town. Skinny Pete, you can't be part of the Duke Patrol. You couldn't apprehend a pool noodle, you skinny prick. You need to bulk up, boy. I'll take the cloth. I'm not searching the other cabinets, though. Probably just filled with cornmeal. A little murky water. That leads to outside. All right, guess we're going upstairs, then. Try and do this the sneaky way. There we go. Took her out. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's go down. Come on. Oh, damn. Oh, shit. Look at... Fucking Laurel and Hardy over here. Well, job's done. Let's see what else the Duke Patrol has to offer. Uh, scrap the jeans. Whatever on the bone knife. There's some uh, medical supplies and some books. Sell that. Take that. Whatever. Got a little balcony right here. There's Kenny. Kenny can't be part of the Duke Patrol. Imagine Kenny being a police officer. That'd be like me being, well, a, a police officer. It just wouldn't work. Because like Kenny, I'd be too easily corruptible. I'd be out on a job with my partner, and we'd come across a bag full of money, and my partner would say, maybe we shouldn't turn it in. I'd say, what do you mean, maybe? Of course we're not turning it in. We're keeping it for ourselves. And then a month into the job, my superior would say, you know, Glock, we noticed you haven't solved any crimes yet. We also noticed that you're wearing a new Rolex and you got gold teeth now. Nice. That double barrel will bring in some money. Got a lot of machete parts. I haven't crafted one yet. I think we've only unlocked uh, level two so far, so I'm waiting. 
Another knife guy book. There we go. We're, we're making our way towards a good machete. Besides, this level 6 Medusa is doing just fine. Oh, we're still wearing overalls. Let's replace those with the BDU pants. There we go. Waking some zombies up, but we got an iron door right here, so we can take our time. It's pretty good loot in this place. Oh, little group here. Oh, they're working on this block here. Well, that's Big Mama working on that block. Come on, Big Mama, lay down. Oh, settle down, Mo. Damn, you settle down too, thick. There we go. Oh, nice having a firearm as a backup weapon. I think uh, night seven, or I'm sorry, night 14 is going to be just fine. Considering we have uh, some decent firearms now, especially that pump shotgun, that's going to help a lot. And I'm definitely going to make a 44 gun before the night 14 horde. If I've unlocked a level 5 Schofield by then, I'll probably go with the Schofield. If not, then I'll go with the level 5 Raven. If I had to guess, I would say we could probably hold the Night 14 Horde at the first hallway. But just in case, we want to make sure that second hallway up on the rooftop is ready to go in the event the first one fails. Nothing there. And we got the rooftop. Yo, shit. Yeah, how do you like that, huh? You didn't know I got reflexes like a house fly. Come here, Kenny. Oh, how'd that feel? Not so great. Now you lost an arm, and now you just disintegrated. Is that it? I think so. Not a bad little raid. Let's see what we got up here. Nothing? Maybe something up there. Nope. Alright. Well, let's get back to Rex. Maybe we can pull off one more Tier 3 before the day's over. Uh, well, that hammer's probably the most expensive thing here. No, actually, the boots are. I may want to keep those boots. I think we're still wearing scrap iron boots. Let me, uh, take a look real fast. Yeah, let's... Let's keep the military boots. We'll sell them the scrap iron once. There you go, old man. Cha-ching! Thanks, buddy. No problem, buddy. I'm gonna do another one of these fancy jobs you have. Not at Duke Patrol, though. I just fucking did that. Bubble Trouble? Nah, I already did that, too. Station Strip? Sure. Why not? Well, hey there, you little psychopath. These fucking things are like me if in chicken form. If I was a chicken, that's exactly what I would look like. Those are the one things that get me a little nervous about Horde Night. Those and the radiated fucking skeleton things. But I don't think we have to worry about them until later on. I mean, if they're this mod's version of Demolishers, they won't show up until... Well, since we're running double XP, probably till night 28. We'll see. Uh, a lot of those chickens showed up on night 7, though. So I'm expecting a lot of them to show up on night 14. And they could... Uh, Pose a bit of a problem. Because they're so short, you know? We might have to do the hallway a bit different. Speaking of the base, uh, there it is right there. Okay, let's uh, fire up this job and then we can loot these uh, newspaper dispensers again. 
But yeah, usually with the hallway, I put a hatch there, right? So we pop the hatch up. That keeps the zombies at bay. But the chickens, this must be part of the POI, right? Keeping an eye on that green check mark, making sure it doesn't turn yellow. I don't want to get too far away from the job. Now, I know I raided that shotgun box before, so that must be part of the POI, too. Let's grab it now. But them chickens are short, so if I pop up a hatch, I'm not going to be able to get a shot at them. So I usually use the hallway as a way in and out of the base. I think we're going to have to reconsider that and use bars or the scaffolding bars in the hallway, and then we'll just need a way in and out of the base for us, which that could just be a ladder on the side of the building, you know? Uh, that's probably what we'll have to do. Okay, that was fun. Uh, just past hour 18, I'm going to try and get through this place quickly. I mean, I don't mind if it rolls over tonight, but I want to get work done at the base tonight, so I don't want to spend too much time here. Robotics book. Ooh, level 5 scrap spitter. I know when I unlocked the level 3, I think I said I was going to look and see how many parts I have and if I could craft a level 3 and I never did that. So now we gotta look and see if we can craft a level 5. Like to get that done before the horde night. Oh, let's go down. Oh, look how eager Skinny Pete is to fight. I gotta give him that at least, right? They say it ain't about the size of the fight or the dog or the fight and the dog I don't know what they say. They say some dumb shit. I tell you what, no matter what they say, Skinny Pete ain't beating anybody. <laughs> oh shit! I'm talking shit and he's whooping my ass. I'm bleeding out. I'm infected. I'm all fucked up, man. I guess it is about the, the fight in the dog or whatever the fuck. Shit. Infected and I got a laceration. I think I, I got a sewing kit out in cornmeal though, so that'll clear that up. And a greater chance of knocking down enemies with arrows. Um, let's just get upstairs. We're fine. Ooh, more books. There's Big Mama. She's getting up. Here comes Kenny. Don't destroy any of these books now. Come on. Got him. Damn it, big mama. Don't do it. Don't you're gonna hurt yourself. Oh shit, I, I told you. You dead? Well, she is now. Mo dead. Take the lead, and this has got to be the way to go. Howdy, man. Let's grab the cement. Now we shouldn't get stuck on that. Ooh, weapons bag. On the handgun book. Steel club parts, which we will sell. Gun safe. And, uh... Looks clear in here. There must be some zombies up there, though, because we haven't cleared the area yet. It's a nice POI, I tell you what. It's basically like a bookstore and a gun shop. And those are the two things you need to do the most in this game. Learn stuff and murder stuff. Now, that's a t-shirt idea right there. Probably get me on some kind of list, though, if I made that. Another robotics book. 20% more damage to land claim property. Not really going to help me. And a Winchester rifle. Only a level one, but I'm going to hang on to that. I'm going to compare the stats of that thing to my hunting rifle at home and see which one is better.
I don't see any zombies up here. There's another ladder going up, though, so... They must be up on the rooftop. Let's get this out of the way. Another shotgun crate. Gotta love it. Shotgun book. Shotgun tube extender mods. Uh-oh. They up here? Oh, shit. Yep. Come on down. You the last one, little buddy? Nope. Got a couple skill points, though. Let's spend them now. I'm gonna max out Gunslinger and Whirlwind. Oh. I don't know why I just maxed out Whirlwind instead of Deep Cuts, but whatever. I wanted to max that thing out as well. Whirlwind just makes us faster with knife attacks. So, uh... Next time I'll level up, I'll max out deep cuts, and uh, we'll be as badass as we could possibly be with a knife. Wake up! Well, that wasn't it either. Oh, looks like we may have missed some zombies down below. Oh, well, we woke him up. Tools book, vehicle book, oil shale, and wheel. I like that wheels are just as prominent in this mod as they are in vanilla, so you just really never have to craft any of those. This must be where the zombies are. Yep. Oh, had enough, lady. Whoop. Well, that ain't it either. Maybe him? Got a crawler. He's dead. And eh, we'll just stab that crawler. Whatever. Oh, oh shit. Nope, not done yet. Maybe in here? Nope. A little bit of trash right here. I'll take it. Oh, here we go. Oh, give me a second. Let me reload. And that'll do it. Forge ahead. And landmines won't detonate when stepped on. Are there even landmines in this mod? I don't know. But if there are, we don't gotta worry about them now. Look at this shit. It's snowing in the desert. I'm freezing out here. I'm going to get home. Actually, let's maybe we should stop at Rex real quick because uh, I just want to make sure he is closed. Yeah, he does lock at night. All right, I'm going to get home, get all of this loot dropped off. I'm going to get a chem station crafted so we can start crafting kerosene, which we're going to need not only to power our vehicles, but also to craft scrap spitter ammo. And then I'm going to get over to the base, get some work done over there, and that's where we will pick up uh day 12 guys i hope you enjoyed this episode and i hope you're looking forward to seeing more thank you so much for watching and all the support you guys are the best you can follow me on instagram or twitter if you want it's at glock 9 gamer i follow all gamers back stick around for more new frontier and i will catch you guys in the next episode